Liver biopsy. A liver biopsy is a procedure to remove a small piece of liver tissue. So it can be examined under a microscope for signs of damage or disease. Your doctor may recommend a liver biopsy when blood tests or imaging studies suggest you might have a liver problem. Also, a liver biopsy is also used to determine the severity of liver disease. In particular, this information helps guide treatment decisions. The most common type of liver biopsy is called percutaneous liver biopsies. It involves inserting a thin needle through your abdomen into the liver and removing a small piece of tissue. Two other types of liver biopsies. Use of veins in the neck, transjugular. And the other uses a small abdominal incision, laparoscopic, also removing liver tissue with a needle. Why liver biopsy done? A liver biopsy may be done to Diagnose a liver problem that can't be otherwise identified. Determine the severity of liver disease. Obtain a sample of tissue from an abnormality found by an imaging study. Help develop treatment plans based on the liver's condition. Determine how well treatment for liver disease is working. Also, monitor the liver after a liver transplant. Your doctor may recommend a liver biopsy when you have ongoing, unexplained fevers. Abnormal liver test results that can't be explained. A mass tumor or other abnormalities in your liver is seen on imaging tests. Moreover, a liver biopsy also is commonly performed to help diagnose and stage certain liver diseases, including non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, autoimmune hepatitis, chronic hepatitis B or C, alcoholic liver disease, primary biliary cirrhosis, chemochromatosis, primary sclerosing cholangitis, Wilson's disease, risks of liver biopsy. A liver biopsy is a safe procedure when performed by an experienced doctor. Specifically, possible risks include pain. In particular, pain at the biopsy site is the most common complication after a liver biopsy. Pain after a liver biopsy is usually a mild discomfort. If pain makes you uncomfortable, your doctor will take an anesthetic pain reliever, such as acetaminophen with codeine, Tylenol with codeine. Bleeding. Bleeding can occur after a liver biopsy. On the other hand, if the bleeding is too much, it will require a blood transfusion or surgery to stop the bleeding. Infection. Rarely, bacteria may enter the abdominal cavity or bloodstream. Accidental injury to a nearby organ. In rare instances, the needle may stick another internal organ, such as the gallbladder or a lung, during a liver biopsies. In a transjugular procedure, your doctor passes a thin tube through a large vein in your neck and into a vein that runs through your liver. Also, if you have a transjugular liver biopsy. Other infrequent risks of liver biopsy. Collection of blood, hematoma, in the neck. Blood may pool around the site where the catheter was inserted, potentially causing pain and swelling. Temporary problems with the facial nerves. Rarely, the transjugular procedure can injure nerves and affect the face and eyes, causing short-term problems, such as a drooping eyelid. Temporary voice problems. You may be hoarse, have a weak voice or lose your voice for a short time. Puncture of the lung. If the needle accidentally sticks your lung, the result may be a collapsed lung pneumothorax. Results. The diagnostic doctor pathologist will examine your liver tissue in a laboratory. Then, the pathologist will look for signs of disease and damage to the liver. Next, your biopsy report should come back from the pathology lab within a few days to a week. At a follow-up visit, your doctor will explain the results. You may be diagnosed with a liver disease. Or your liver disease has stage or severity based on severity, mild, moderate, or severe. Therefore, your doctor will discuss what treatment, if any, you need. Reference, the free solution for fatty liver. Reverse fatty liver, lose weight and improve your overall health and well-being, fast. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Good health. Do not follow us, like, share, and comment with us.